Hello everyone and welcome to another Life Recall video. In this video I'm going to be focusing on the INTJ personality type and what makes them stand out from all the other types. There are some traits that I'm going to be talking about that they share or they have in common with the INFJs because they are both introverted intuition dominance. But besides that, there are some great points that I mentioned on this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you on the next one. What makes INTJs stand out from every other type? Number 1. Kings of Backwards INTJs have a very peculiar and unique way of looking at everything. It's customary to start in the beginning, and work your way towards the conclusion, by adding to, developing, and evolving the idea or concept. INTJs work the opposite way, they first see the big picture, and then reverse engineer, and deconstruct it with their minds. This means, first and foremost they see the solution, and figure out the best course of action afterward. This might be an anti-dominant thing, so INFJs might operate the same way, introverted intuition is a very mysterious function. Even INTJs have trouble understanding how they are able to pull knowledge they didn't even know they possessed, or how they were able to involuntarily connect the dots so fast. It's almost unfair. Number 2, Inability to naturally blend in with society. Notice the word society, and not people, INTJs can undoubtedly blend in with people, after all, they are not the only introverts who prefer to keep to themselves most of the time. What I mean is, conforming to the norms of society, they see it as something imposed on them. That they weren't given the choice to be a part of or not. Sometimes the fact that society as we know it is the only option, might even frustrate them. Being visionaries and natural improvers. They imagine a world where everything works in perfect harmony, they might have a general idea of what it would look like. For example, focusing on eradicating ignorance, enlightening everyone on the importance of accepting nature's inevitability, and how to create a sustainable and automated system, where everyone together with the planet, is taken care of. They are hesitant to join society, because they see it as a deeply flawed system, very far from the perfect concept they have in their minds. Or maybe that's just me. Number 3, Rebellious, and Don't Play the Authority Game Perhaps the most rebellious of all the personality types when it comes to authority. INTJs are very in tune with nature, and see people as being part of a much bigger system, than the one created by the people, for the people. We are all carbon-based creatures, and equal in that regard. Even when someone is an expert in a certain area, INTJs believe that human intelligence is limited, and there's always something more to be learned or different ways to improve. INTJs will never take for granted information provided to them by others. It's important to understand this is not because they believe they always know better, but because they believe the possibility for improvement is always present. Theories change, science eats their old, and replaces itself with better, and more efficient models. Just because someone was right about something today, doesn't mean they aren't going to be right tomorrow. INTJs instinctively know this, nothing is impervious to their skeptically curious mind. Number 4, Unalterable First I would like to say that everyone should strive for improvement or betterment, please do not use MBTI to put yourself in a box, it's supposed to work the opposing way. MBTI provides understanding, and only by knowing the root cause, one can work to improve on it. How do you know what to improve, if you don't know what's lacking? But I'm getting off topic. Let me explain what I mean by unalterable, and why INTJs are affected by this in a very personalized and unique way. The way I see it, and I might be mistaken, but imagine the world is like an onion floating in space, each layer represents a personality type, except, there are only 15 layers. And the INTJ was born outside the onion, but still caught in its gravitational pull. This is the way I see the INTJ personality type, like they are on the outside, having a clear picture of the entire thing. They can look in, they can reach inside if they choose to, create connections, and have a normal life like everyone else, but their mind will never fully disconnect from the outside. This is what I mean about being unalterable, they were born outsiders, with the gift, or curse, of seeing the bigger picture, but never fully fitting in it. Number 5, INTJs think in symbols and images. Like the first topic, kings of backwards, this too can be applied to INFJs, because it's an introverted intuition dominant thing, INFJs also think in means of symbols and imagery. 
but it's certainly something that distinguishes INTJs from the other 14 types, it's very funny actually, and it can be hilarious in their minds. NI DOMS, can see the solution to a problem solved in their heads, or a project completed, before it's even started. To get a better idea, for all non-INTJs, or INFJs, who might see this video, imagine thoughts as cartoons or images. The onion mentioned before, is a perfect example, INTJs see the imagery first, and then try to bring it from the abstract into reality. That is why INTJs normally have a difficult time remembering names, they associate a feeling, or some sort of abstract connection to people and concepts. They are great at identifying exactly the feeling associated with someone or something, but names are a huge hurdle. It's fascinating the way their minds work. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.